hey and welcome back to another video today i am going to be using this essential by ellen's leading lady dog lady stamp set although it should be crazy dog lady really uh i have stamped this up with some copic friendly ink on a bit of nina and i'm gonna do a lot of copic coloring this card is, um, well, this video is for a card that I made for a challenge blog that my friend Erica and I have together. So she's Erica with a K, I'm Erica with a C, and together we are a pair of Ericas. <laughs> yeah, it's got a bit of a ring to it, doesn't it? Hmm? So uh, this month, um, well, actually, I mean, we've been kind of like dabbling with this blog for over a year now, and uh, it's not really kind of gotten off the ground to be like a proper it's not like a proper challenge blog it's a blog where we challenge ourselves to something and then we blog about it so this month we challenged ourselves to use a leading lady stamp set from ellen hudson and if you go over to the blog you will find erica's card that she made and this is the card that i made so as you can see like from the blog, you know, we made completely different cards. However, they are both going to be slimline cards. So the coloring uh, is finished and then I used the coordinating die cuts and I love that they come in a pocket, like a proper pocket with magnetic sheets as well. So everything kind of stays together and I like keeping my dies uncut if possible. For my slim lines, I am going to be using these dies from Trinity Stamps, and I'm definitely going to be using this cardstock. And I thought I was going to use that pink one as well, but mid abracadabra, poof, the pink cardstock turned into white cardstock. <laughs> yeah, magic, right? So uh, I had the idea first that I was going to make quite a thick slimline card so that I could have it horizontally and the lady could be standing on one end and then all the doggies kind of, you know, almost like they are waiting for her to feed them or something like that. But then I decided, actually, you know what? I'm going to be doing it vertically like this. So I took out these brushed letters from, or bold and brushy even, uh, letter of stamp sets from um, Concord and Ninth, and I stamped up a crazy dog lady with these Distress Oxide inks. And the little one, um, I'm not, I can't remember just off my head right now what it's called, but I will link everything down below so you can find your way to those stamp sets at the Concord and Ninth shop and also the Ellen Hudson shops. So, um, yeah, so I did the, the the writing and then I thought, well, you know, I am like in real life a proper cr crazy dog lady. So I did some pause all over this panel and then uh, I was, well, literally the only thing left I had to do was kind of puzzle my pieces and my little doggies there. But the one, the only negative thing I have got to say about this the stamp set or the dies more like it actually is that the arm is it should have been the die should have been like right along the edge of her top and her actual hand there rather than cutting out part of her t-shirt or the like the top that's in the background so i did um have to kind of fussy cut a little bit around then you can see there's a bit of a gap there but because i'm gonna put my little doggy in her arms like that it doesn't really matter um the other potential downside is that you can't that cut her out without cutting that arm part out so that's a, to me that's a little bit of a design flaw but you know I still appreciate the fact that they come with the coordinating die cuts. So yes, yay, thanks for that. And right, so here we are, we're just gonna glue these bits and pieces together. And I'm actually gonna try to keep my card looking like this. So it's not gonna be like a white trim around the, the patterned paper there or anything like that. I'm gonna actually just keep this as it is. And then on the back, tape down a smaller panel, probably the same size as the, uh, the smaller slimline die there to write my messages on there if I do send this to someone. But I kind of love it how this turned out. And I mean, this is like, I have two chicas already, but like the next step is to add another two, I think. So yeah, this is definitely me. I'm aspiring to be like an even crazier dog lady than I already am. So adopt on shop, save a life, and you will have unconditional love for the rest of your, well, 
the rest of their life. But it's, yeah, rescuing and adopting doggies is, or any animals really, is one of the best things you can do. So if you are a fur baby mama with adopted babies, yay, pause up. You're awesome. That is fantastic. And that, I think, is all the dog puns I have. I know that was kind of weak, wasn't it? Probably need to work on a few more. Tailtastic? Uh, nah. If you have any more good ones, hit me up in the comments down below because clearly I need to up my game a little bit. The glue I'm using is the Lawn Liquid Glue Tube. Uh, I do like the fact that you have a little bit of leeway before it sets so that if you realize something is not on straight, you can actually quickly fix it. Um, but yeah, you do really need to kind of be on the ball when you're gluing stuff down because it's so easy to get it wrong. And then your whole project can just be, I'm not going to say down the drain, but you know, you might see it or you will see it. And it's just one of those little things that really drive you crazy, right? Her. Anyway, right, so we're going to finish this off with just a little bit of glossy accent on the eyes and the noses and those cute little, like, medallions on the, um, on the collars. And with that, the card is done. So, um, yeah, I'm going to link everything down below and also link to a pair of Erica's blog where you will be able to find the blog post for this and for the other Erica's blog post. So I hope you enjoyed this card and um, will give me a little thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. See you soon again.